back to it. You know, as a defense, okay, oh, wait, I've seen this formation before. And, oh, wait, we've been in this third and long situation before. And this is the same thing we saw last time. I wonder what's coming. It just doesn't seem to be any of that mental awareness with this defense. Happiest man in America right now? Who's Matt, that? Matt Flynn. He's facing the <laughs> Cowboys defense next week. Here's a look at uh, how the Cowboys defense stacks up historically in terms of yards per game allowed. We talked a lot about that Saints defense last year as they gave up 440 yards per game. But you can see, uh, since 1935, this is the fourth worst defense in NFL history in terms of yards given up who, who per went, game. Who went to the Saints to turn that defense around? Yeah. Well, good old Rob, Rob Ryan. Ryan. Where was he at last yeah, year? Yeah, he DJ? was in Dallas last year. That's a good point. Uh-huh. It makes you wonder, and you remember what he said when he got let go by the Cowboys. It'll take me all five minutes to find a new job. Took seven. <laughs> and he landed on his feet. <laughs> and he's and doing he's, well. And he's doing pretty well. All right, on the flip side, you have the Bears who are now 7-6. and six. Uh-huh. Um, They are tied with the Detroit Lions, but they are behind in a tiebreaker. So right. if the playoffs started today, it would be the Lions winning the division. What does this do, this do for this quarterback situation long term? Because McCown's playing so well that you're forced to answer the question you never thought you would have to before McCown was put in. What if Jay Cutler's healthy and ready to come back? I'm turning to the scout on this one. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think you probably, if Jay Cutler was 100% healthy, I still think you would turn to Jay Cutler even as well as Josh McCown has played. However, if he's 98%, then maybe, you know what, let's get that last 2% and get you, get you fully right and we'll roll with Josh McCown. But, but right now, I mean, this is a problem. I guarantee you they wish they had in Cleveland and Minnesota and some of these other places to have two options right. like the Bears have right now. I would say this, when your offense is rolling, keep it rolling with the guy that's got it rolling. And there's a rhythm right now in Chicago, and we saw it tonight in a bunch of different ways, and it's, it's really simple. I mean, we talked earlier all the different ways they can beat you. Well, here's two plays in the screen game. You're going to see Brandon Marshall, the willing participant, going down here to block. I mean, he's going to knock out Bruce Carter. I say knock out lightly. Jordan Mills, your tackle, is going to pull around here. George Shelby up the field, doesn't recognize it. Matt Forte, you know, and then watch Brandon Carr here. Brandon Carr, you make 10 freaking million dollars a year. Go hit somebody. This is not flag football. That's the problem right there with the Dallas Cowboys defense or one part of it. Now, hey, what did I say again? Formation recognition. Down in distant tendencies, we're going to see Marshall coming here again. He's going to hit up on Ernie Sims, and then we see Mills pull out again. George Shelby recognizes it a little quicker this time, tries to bail out, still doesn't get it done. This time it's Mike. Bush, great blocking down the field, walk-in touchdown. And so when you talk about rhythm, offensive play calling, and everything else, I mean, hey, I mean, Drew Bledsoe, you look at his resume before they kind of made the pull for Tom Brady, you'd probably say Drew's was better than Cutler. I mean, I just say hot hand, 